Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question now. A standing wave is formed in a pipe open at one end and closed at the other. The length of the pipe is capital L and the speed of the sound in the pipe is given by V. N is a positive integer. What expression is correct about the frequencies of the harmonics in the pipe? So you have to find the expression for the frequencies like the general expression for Fn. And um, let's see how to do it. So my dear students, as we all know, like there are only two formulas for the standing wave. And uh, we have done those two formulas extensively in paper one. And all of those questions are already available on YouTube. So you people can watch them. And we know that when you are working with one with, with a pipe uh, closed at one end, open at the other, the general formula for the frequency is actually given by M into V divided by 4L. So it will be highly tempting to just tick the answer D in the first place. But that is not the correct answer in this question because here is the problem. It says that N is a positive integer. Now, if you remember this formula that N into V divided by 4L, you must also be remembering this thing that here the N is actually odd number. It is not natural number. It is not all the numbers. It is not all the positive integers. It is only and only the odd numbers. Even harmonics are not present. So even that is also known that even harmonics are not present. So even harmonics are not present. But the problem here is that they are using N as a positive integer and it would be having even as well as odd, both of the numbers. So we want to get rid of the even number. How can we get rid of that? We can just replace this n with 2n minus 1. Yes, you can have 2n plus 1 also. No doubt about that. But 2n minus 1 is more often used. So let us say n is equal to 1. So 2 minus 1 will be 1. If n is equal to 2, it will be 2 into 2, 4 minus 1. That will be 3. So only and only odd numbers. So 2n minus 1 is a general expression for the odd number. So we want it to be odd numbers only. So we will replace this n with 2n minus 1 and thereby b becomes the correct option. So this is the correct explanation of this question that why the answer b will be ticked instead of the answer d. Do you got it? Because the problem is that n is all of the positive integers. Now in this video, I would like to tell a bit more about the standing wave, like how the formula is derived. I will say, I will tell you that also. I just want to do that. That is why I'm doing it. Okay. So how do we do that? Try to understand, like, let us con concentrate on the first harmonic. So first harmonic wave will look somewhat like this, isn't it? And so what is this? Isn't it lambda by four? You try to see like this will be lambda by two and this, like it will go even farther away if you are interested in creating the full wavelength. So this part is only and only lambda by 4. So clearly I can say that lambda by 4 is equal to L. So lambda can be assumed to be equal to 4L. Now if lambda is equal to 4L and I'm using like V is equal to frequency into wavelength. So the general formula for frequency will be this. V divided by 4L. Now, similarly, if you go for the second harmonic or the next harmonic, I must say, not the second harmonic, for the next harmonic, the wave will be different. So I'm not doing that thing for the next harmonic, by the way. It would be looking like this. Somewhere like this. Clearly, this much is lambda by 4, second lambda by 4, and third lambda by 4. So in this case, it will become 3 lambda by 4 is equal to L. Wavelength will be equal to 4L by 3. And by using this formula, frequency will be equal to 4L by 3, which is the lambda. So it becomes 3V divided by 4L. Clearly, I have shown you that the even harmonics are not present in such a case. Only and only the odd harmonics will be there. And that is why it just becomes a, um, a genuine thing that we would be replacing this n with 2n minus 1. So my dear students, this is how I've, we do this question. 
Thanks for joining. This is Professor Varun. Please join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper to question solutions. All the best. Bye.